Hello guys, Emmanuel here. Today, I want to talk about the new Substance Painter Live Link for Houdini. This is the first iteration of the new Python-based plugins from Substance Painter, and also is the first version that supports the new Udin workflow. Since adopting fully changed how exports and plugins work inside Painter, I had to do some major changes, so the way it works is a little different from the previous versions. Still, I try to keep it simple and as similar as possible to how it has worked so far. Also consider that there are still some limitations for Python plugins, the main one being that you cannot export geometry from Painter yet. Hopefully this will be added soon enough. So let's get started. From the Gumroad page, download the zip of the version 2.1.0 and extract it. Inside you'll find a folder called Show SP Link. Copy it and paste it in the Python's plugin folder from Painter. Located in your documents, algorithmic, substance painter, Python, plugins. Please make sure you are using this path, otherwise it won't work. Then open Painter. If you install the plugin correctly, you will either see the icon of the live link on the right side of the UI or the window already docked somewhere in the UI. Now we need to verify the license and install the Houdini client. To verify the license, open the plugin and go to the configuration tab. Paste your license in the key field and click verify. If successful, the email will be filled and a success message will appear in the log. Now to install the Houdini client, select the Houdini version and this will automatically set the recommended path to install the add-on. In my case, I will select 18 and click the install button. We now can see a success message appearing in the log to inform us that the client was installed correctly. We can verify it by clicking the folder button. The installation should be under scripts Python. Then in toolbar, we should also be able to see the new shelf added for the plugin. To finalize the Houdini installation, now we need to check if it is working. So we open Houdini and we should be able to see a new shelf called Show SP Link. We add it and we click the icon button. Instead of checking every field of the plugin, I think it's better to see how it works in a usual workflow. Let's open Houdini and Painter. In order to connect them, you need to open the plugin window in Houdini. And as soon as you open it, the apps will be connected. And when you close it, it will be disconnected. In Painter, we can see the idea of the Painter instance, the available apps. In this case, only Houdini is available. The available renders for the app. For Houdini, we are talking about Mantra, V-Ray, Renderman, Redshift, Octane, and Arnold and the presets for each render. And on Houdini, we can see the instance ID and the available Painter instances. As you can see, each other IDs match. Once you select the render and the preset, all the available maps for that preset will appear in the channels tab. The maps that are shown in the main section are the basic maps needed for a PBR material, and the ones in the optional can be used depending on the material, for example, emissive and opacity. Let's begin by sending a geo from Houdini to Painter. All we need to do is decide the normal map to be used, the initial resolution, the tangent space, if we want to include cameras, and the workflow, either default or UDIMS. We check that the geo has a material already defined before sending it to Painter, and now we select the geo and click send. Remember that you need to select the geo at object level. If we have not opened a project in Painter, a new project will be created. If something is already open, depending on what we have in the general section of the configuration tab, it can either do nothing and inform you of an error in the log, or automatically close the current project and open a new one. Now, with the Geon Painter, let's add this lava material and enable the emissive map. Next, we need to decide how we're going to export the maps. First, we select the render, in this case V-Ray, and the preset. Standard, since I'm not using UDIMS right now. Then we select the output path. If you have not selected anything yet, the default export path from Algorithmic will be selected. Then the format and the bit depth the base size of all the maps, the padding, and the dilation if necessary. These settings will be the default settings to be used by all the texture sets, but thanks to the new export system of Painter, we can now add some extra configurations. To add these extra configurations, we add rules. For example, this rule is of type format and is changing the image bit depth of the normal map from 8 to 16. We can add as many rules as we want with the plus button, and they can be applied at UDIM level, at map level, or at texture set level. And the rules can change the image format, the size and the padding. 
Once we have configured everything, we can just click the Save button to keep the configuration even if we close Painter. Finally, we select the texture set we want to export and define the Houdini path of the materials depending on the render in the extra section. Some renders like Kernel can use the Sharp context, others like V-Ray use the Matte context. Since I'm using V-Ray, I'll select the Matte context that matches the material path defined in Houdini. Now click Send. As you can see, the material was created, and all is working as expected. Well, that's all for now. I'll do some extra videos explaining UDIMs, the different shader networks, and how the rules work, so don't forget to subscribe.